In June 82, the Peace for Galilee operation was launched. The army invaded Lebanon to chase PLO forces from the frontiers, and the Air Force was called on to prevent any enemy airstrike. Several F-15 and F-16 wings equipped their aircraft with Sidewinder, Sparrow and Shafria air-to-air -air missiles. Israel had informed Syria of its intentions, and Israeli pilots had strict orders not to fire at Syrian aircraft unless fired upon. E2C Hawkeyes in service since 1978 would be used as flying observation posts. Their powerful radar was capable of spotting enemy formations over a long distance. States flew the latest versions of MiG-21, but most of all, they were equipped with a new Soviet swing-wing interceptor, the MiG-23 Flogger. On June 8th and 9th, masses of Israeli and Syrian aircraft engaged in an enormous aerial battle of World War I dimensions. But instead of light biplanes, these were the most modern and advanced jet fighters. After two days, the war in the air was over. The results were hard to believe. 85 MiG-21 and 23s littered the Bekaa Valley, and not a single Israeli fighter had been lost. It was the ultimate confirmation of the IAF superiority. You know, sometimes the wars 